In today's Cobb highlight, we are talking about this awesome carbon fiber intake for the 2015 and up STI. It's part of our Cobb Premium Redline series. This intake is something that our, our hard parts team has been working on for a while and I've been really excited to see all the stuff going on behind the scenes and I'm even more excited that I can actually show it to you now. So I'm gonna break down all the little components and kind of give you an inside look as to what makes it such a cool intake. The most obvious thing that will get people excited is the fact that it is carbon fiber, 100% in and out. It's a two by two twill weave pattern, which gives it the kind of diamond weave shape that's really cool looking. Another thing that makes it look so nice is that we used a really high quality PPG clear coat. Not only does it give it the shiny, really high quality appearance, but it also helps a lot when it comes to protecting against fading or yellowing. If you're familiar with carbon fiber parts, you know that that can happen over time. You can't always prevent it completely, but this will prevent it as much as possible. The next part I wanna focus on that's really subtle, but adds a lot of quality when you think about it and look at them in detail are these adapter plates. They are billet aluminum that have been anodized black. We wanted to use aluminum versus plastic just because it's gonna be better quality over time and it looks really, really nice. Uh, this one specifically goes kind of on the back side. It would go right here, and that's what actually connects your mass airflow housing to the main body. And so, of course, you have the hardware that holds those together. And then the other similar looking, or similarly built plate goes on the front side here, which I guess you could call it the front, but it's on the side where the fender is. Uh, and there's this opening that has the kind of a, a grate here, like a honeycomb filter, that's optional. You can either put this plate on or take it off. It's really up to you whether you want it to be fully sealed or open. The main reason you would leave it open is you get more of that cool bypass valve or the turbo spooling noise. Uh, even on the stock bypass valve, we noticed a difference. As far as the tuning and the performance, it doesn't really change whether it's on or off. So it's just a personal preference thing. Some people really like that sound and some people think it's kind of annoying. So we leave it up to you. But the quality of these adapters is really, really high quality. Another thing that goes along with them that we included is we have these little foam cutouts. And if you look on the back, you can see they perfectly match the shape of these adapters as well as our mounting brackets that we'll talk about later. The reason we included them is one, it helps just to seal, especially on the back side, circular one, but it also cuts down on rattling and just little annoying sounds. And it helps to kind of protect the clear coat that's on the carbon fiber since you do have these hard metallic components. We've also got a brand new filter for this intake. It has the good old Cobb logo on the front and made in the US of A. It is specific to this intake housing. It's 35% larger than the SF intake filter, so you get 35% more SFs, I guess. Speaking of airflow, the only part that actually transfers 100% over from the previous intake is this MAF housing, but that's actually a good thing. It still has the velocity stack design with the airflow straighteners, so you get really consistent readings on your sensor. But that also means that our current off-the-shelf maps and future updates that use the same intake as before, and if you have a custom tune using our previous intake, is going to work without having to change anything. It's probably still a good idea to send a data log to your Pro Tuner if you have a custom map, but on the dyno we've tested them and we get really consistent results. The last thing I want to talk about is actually one of my favorite things about the design of the intake. Our engineering team really simplified the process of installing and uninstalling the part. The whole intake is basically one piece that can go in and out of the car together. All you need to do are install a lower and an upper bracket that hold this side. And then we provide two studs and grommets that hold the duct side. And then you use your hose clamps on the post math hose and that's it. Sometimes you'll either need to or just want to remove your intake while working under the hood. Step one, unbolt the upper mounting bracket and slide it off the stud. Step two, Loosen the hose clamp from the post MAF hose to the turbo inlet hose. In step three, pull out the entire intake as one piece. To reinstall, just do the same steps in reverse. So to recap, we've got incredibly easy installation, super high quality components all throughout, excellent sound and performance, plus this thing just looks really, really good. So you combine all that together and the Cobb Redline intake is one of the coolest parts that you can put on a 2015 Plus STI.